Governor Cuomo's controversial 90-day email deletion policy has now been deleted itself. Our Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard live at our Capitol Bureau for us right now. And Kimberly, this decision came out of a transparency summit where only one member of the legislature actually went, and he actually showed up by phone. What's the deal with that? Well, Greg, the governor's office says the minority and majority conferences in both chambers knew about the summit for weeks, and three declined an invitation. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for the Senate Democrats tells me they already drafted legislation dealing with both of the changes the governor's office discussed today. The system is fractured and state agencies do not operate with the same standards and policies. The governor's office is now vowing to change those policies, starting by reversing a controversial decision to automatically delete all state agency emails after 90 days. Probably millions of emails have been deleted. Uh, and. Uh, the, that's an incredibly unpopular policy. Emails can still be deleted manually, but state agency workers have to know when they should be kept, when they're considered record. If I sent an email to someone to go to lunch, that is not considered a record. If I sent an email with an attachment of a state contract, that could be a record. The governor's office says there will be training and record access officers who can help. But good government groups worry that vital emails related to the cases against former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver and former Senate President Dean Skelos or other compromising information could have already bit in the dust. Well, I mean, we'll never know, right? I mean, the, the uh, governor's uh, order to e delete all emails uh, unless they were covered by a freedom of information law request or subject to some sort of litigation, they're all subject to being removed. We'll never know. The recipient's emails are still there, right? So if they sent, if the agency head or an agency member sent an email outside of the government, the person who received the email may still have it. Uh, so it may still be available to the U.S. Attorney's Office if they were, if they were looking. While the administration is also introducing legislation to expand freedom of information laws to the legislature. It's a proposal that could hit some roadblocks, especially with only 12 days of the session left. Live at the Capitol Bureau, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.